Good afternoon guys and welcome then to another episode of Non-League to Premier League. I hope you all had a great weekend. Right. Business. My word. Only played a few games since you were last with us. And here we are. Four games played, four wins. We beat Swindon 3-2 in League 1. We knocked Kidderminster out of the FA Cup beating them 4-3. We just beat Plymouth in the Papa John's Trophy as well, so we threw in the next round of that. And then Gillingham away. What a result. And we're going to have a look at just a couple of goals in here. 7-2 was the result. A little bit unfair on Gillingham in terms of the match stats, shall we say, but we were absolutely clinical. 11 shots on goal, 7 of those scored. But this goal here from Keon Tete, I've got to show you, and I've got to show you the Reese Cole goal as well. What an absolute belter this is. You get the ball here, pick it over the top, Cox look over the top, Tete takes it one time, and oh, 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 look at that, that's delightful. And then Reese Cole, an absolute banger again, you know he's got it in him every now and again. McGee outs him well outside the area and smashes it low into the corner. Absolutely beautiful to watch. So, as things stand, we are currently second in League 2. Only a point behind Preston, who played their game yesterday. Still got two games in hand on sec uh, third place, with two points ahead of. So things are looking really, really well. Um, are we going to get promoted? I still think it's a little bit too early to say. I've come back earlier today because I didn't want to come back against Lincoln and I didn't want to go too far into December because we played Lincoln already on, on a live comm. So I thought Sheffield Wednesday away, real good test really for us. But if you look at our December guys, look at all of those fixtures. Holy moly, we have got a packed December that will be the test for us. That will be our telling time. If we're still first, second, even maybe third and a couple of points behind, I would say after December we're likely to get promoted. So, without further ado, let us get into the game this afternoon. then guys so here we are this is the team we are going with against Sheffield Wednesday we're a little bit light at the back we've got Felipe in goal youngster beard on the left hand side because we've got cover who's out of fitness at the minute and then Sam Stewart is unfortunately injured Gilchrist and Piggott great sense back partnership then we've got Cameron Cox on the right hand side because Lesson Hughes is unfortunately again unfit and Ayagoke is actually away on international duty. So, a little bit of an iffy back line. A bit concerned about this today. In midfield, then, we've got Cole and Dixon Bonner. Followed by McGee, Sparrow and Cox right behind Keon and Tete. Hoping that we're going to get a really good result this afternoon. So, let's get into it, shall we? Yes, we know that Beard might not finish, but we'll bring cover on at half-time. Hopefully, we can grind out a win. Big, big test here. Obviously, we're at... Um, Oh my word, Hillsborough. And it's it's going to be difficult. I don't envisage this being a game that we absolutely slap them about. However, that being said, if we can get our guys to play anything like they did in the last game, this should be a really interesting one. We go top of the league straight away, just purely on goal difference. We've got a better goal difference than Preston. Hopefully, we can go top by a couple of points. Freckled though. Get, oh, look at that. Leah was just there. And a great save from Felipe Cameron Cox then to take a throw in on this right hand side. Taking his time about it as well. Launches it forward. Jordan Cox gets it. Atete is dead. Come on. Eight minutes in. It's 1-0 to the Moors. That was quite a nice goal. Cox then with quite a long throw into the opposition half. Jordan Cox heads it on. Revan there should do better. The keeper should really be on top of Atete as well. But Atete takes it down, turns, and a lovely little finish. Beard then. 
Knocks it forwards. Kieran Ateo takes it down delightfully. Gets wiped out though. Cox intercepts. Sparrow's on the ball. We're still coming forward here, but it did look like that was going to be a counter attack for Sheffield Wednesday. Reese Cole, his pass is poor there. Morris then gives it to Cooper over the top for Bowie. Bowie's through one on one, and Felipe makes a great save for us. Corner kick to come. Cooper then delivers the ball. Piggott gets rid of it. It's lovely. Grant's going to get there first. He does. Oh, and Jordan Cox brings him down. Please don't be red. Oh, that was a little bit cynical there from Jordan. It was. He'd done what he had to do, but my word, we wouldn't want to see him doing that so often. Now, we are, interestingly here, we're dominating possession, but all of the highlights seem to be them countering us. Keanu Tete then can launch a counter of his own. Dirk, uh, Dunkley, sorry, with a fantastic challenge. And again, highlight just breaks down. Cooper with the uh, corner. Lee is there, and again, Lee just showing glimpses of greatness. We are getting absolutely dominated here by Sheffield Wednesday. It's got to be said. Ah, oh, come on, Beard. I didn't want to bring him off so soon. Unfortunately, injured the youngster. Uh, we expected to bring him off at half time, but <laughs> unfortunately, we've been so unfixed. We've had quite a lot of fixtures. It's just done us no good. McGee then with the corner. <laughs> Tete is there again. And this lad on his head is just ridiculous. In swinging corners all day long on the front post. Bang! Let's have it, boys. The bulldog in the background is not happy with the commentary at the moment. Apologies. <laughs> right then, so we are unbelievably 2-0 to the good. Again, been good in possession, but Wednesday, Wednesday were coming on quite strong for long periods of that half. Um, we're going to say with no gesture, keep focused. And Keanu Tete is really not happy with that. Let's see if we can uh, G him up a little bit. Eee, no, we're not going to say he's lazy. I'm very happy with your performance so far. That's motivated him a little bit, but not really put him back into the green. Dion McGee apparently is lacking in fitness. A tight groin. Don't, oh, we'll let him get the corner delivery in first. Tete is there again. I told you. Corners, this man is just an absolute beast. Any time the ball comes to him in the box, in the air, he's a threat. Yes, he does miss occasionally. We saw in the last live come, I think he makes about six headers. Um, but when he's on his day, the kid is unplayable in the air. And we do need to make a couple of substitutions here because we are risking getting some really nasty injuries. And I'm very, very concerned about how congested our fixture list is coming into um, coming into December. And we didn't put Wilson on the bench. What have we done? Ah! <laughs> oh no! We've got no natural left winger here now, then. So we're going to have to bring Ronnie Coley on on this left hand side. We'll switch him with Jordan Cox. Cox is going to have to move to an inverted winger with a support duty. No, we'll make him an inside forward. Uh, you can hear the clogs ticking in the head at the moment, guys. I do apologise. Try not to keep it too long. Dixon Bonner's playing really well, but he's on a yellow card. But I also need to make sure we've got a substitution just in case anything bad happens. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And confirm that up. Cover takes the free, uh, free kick throwing. Plays it to McGee. McGee's in great space. Gets the ball in again. It's cleared only as far as Dixon Bonner then. All the way back to Alfie Gilchrist. Back inside to Cole. Dixon Bonner again. These two just passing the ball. Lovely. Cameron Cox forward for Jordan Cox. He's going to play it back. Cox gets it in. Oh, Tete misses. And McGee's last kick of the ball is going to be a volley way over the bar. Jordan Cox then with the delivery. Atete missed it this time, but Sparrow's at the back post. Ball runs through to him, and it's 4-0 to the Moors. Now, this is what I was saying, exactly the same thing about the Gillingham game. We've not necessarily been overly dominant, 
But in terms of putting our chances away, the guys are in such confidence. Like, if we're getting a sniff of goal, chances are we're going to score. That's all well and good while we're full of confidence. My issue is, it's a good goal there from Matt Smith off the rebounds. What happens if our confidence drops? Are we just going to drop off completely? I don't know. And it is a concern because from our even from our coaching reports now, we've only got a few really good League 1 players. Most of our squad is made up of good League 2 players. And if we go up this season, we've got a lot of building to do and not a lot of money to do it with. Which is a real concern. Obviously, if we was at a club where we wasn't staying long term, we'd do a little bit of stuff with the transfer window and go for instalment payments where it kind of messes up the club's finances in the future. Staying at one club, we can't do that and we're not prepared to do that because it's going to cripple us. So, lots and lots to think about. But, realistically, we've got to see where we end up in December 1st because... It could be over for us in December. We could lose a lot of games on the bench. Sparry here brings the ball forward. Little Ronnie Coley comes forward. Takes an effort on from there and hemming in goal. <laughs> that was awful keeping. I mean, he, he got the ball in the end. But it wasn't convincing at all. Nurse floats in a free kick, which is terrible. Gets a cross in, though. And Clark, in the middle of the goal there, you would expect him to at least test the target. Coley then forward to Sparrow. Oh, Smith heads it on. Poor. Coley again out wide. Really bad from us at the moment, the passing. Jordan Cox then is going to cut inside, surely. No, tries to get the ball in. It's cleared. Smith to Cooper. Out wide to Leahy. Leahy's got plenty of players on him and Alfie Gilchrist does really well there to block the shot. Bremo then to Grants. Grants going to go back outside to Bomono. Pomono's going to... No, he's not going to get it in because that was a superb challenge by Cox. And that's not something that Jordan Cox does regularly, by the way. He's tracked back. He's normally a guy who's pushing forward, but really good work there. And again, he's in the face of Grant. And it finishes. So if you see then, look at that. Higher XG from Sheffield Wednesday. 14 shots apiece. We had slightly more of the ball. This is what I'm talking about and this is where my concerns are. We're not outclassing teams. We're very competitive in every game that we play, don't get me wrong. We're not outclassing anybody though, really. We're clinical. If our morale drops even the slightest bit from a result that they're not happy with, or maybe even something that I say, I think we could be in real trouble. That being said... We are confident, we're in a great spot, and we are currently two points clear at the top of League One. What more is there to say? What do you guys reckon is going to happen? Let me know. Don't forget to smash the old thumbs up button for me. Thank you again for all your continued support, and I will see you people on Wednesday.